your boys Bushcraft again back. Um, seeing a lot of people viewing my uh, everyday carry, my EDC. You see, there it is. Um, wanted to show you what was actually in my bug out bag. Now, I want to start this with I'll let you know this USGI Molly vest is what I use for my bug out bag. Now, I'm a 4X guy. That's the size shirts I wear. This vest actually fits perfect. Um, on the sides, where the Molly is actually a strap to the back, you can slide this in and out. You unclip this and unclip this, and it'll slide back to tighten it up, or it'll slide out to loosen it up. So, me being a 4X size, this vest still fits perfect. Um, so that's a good option. I've seen a lot of uh, vests out there for 70, 80, 90, 100, 200 dollars for a vest when you can just go online, order the olive drab forest um, vest and throw your gear on it and you're good to go. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I didn't. So that's that. That's what this is. Um, so let's go through what I have on here. I have a Mora knife in olive drab. Um, this is a regular um, non-stainless, so it's a carbon blade. I used gun blue on the entire surface of it and then sharpened it and oiled it. Uh, the gun blue will actually help prevent rust, surface rust from starting. Um, that's just something that I thought of. Um, olive drab emergency whistle just in case. These are M4 pouches. Um, this M4 pouch usually holds my GPS and my Walkman, or my, not my Walkman, but my walkie talkie. But it can also hold my 9mm high point. It fits right in there and it sticks out the side, which works really well as well. Um, just got a couple of Grimlocks on here. This is a Grimlock. Um, I was using to hold another water bottle. I used two Grimlocks on here to buckle my EDC to my vest. They're right on the front. Um, this I'm probably going to need to move or put a uh, malice adapter on it because it's just got one clip. This is just a compass pouch, um, older compass pouch, but it'll hold three stacks of most of the gaunt rounds on stripper clips, and it actually works quite well. I have my Kukri machete made by Cold Steel that's on here. That actually works really well. Again, I had to resharpen it as in the other videos. Um, this is, I did a review on the FRX1. This is the FRX1. This is actually the second one I have. Uh, fits perfectly fine in the M4 pouch. Definitely recommend that. Nice and snug. This is an emergency bivy. This is the military style bivy. The digital um, digital camo. Uh, the desert camo type. Um, it fits in this sleeve. I don't know what the sleeve is. It's an older one. But it fits actually pretty well on there. So that's what I use it for. It's a pain to get back in there. But if you need a shelter, it's a good backup. On the rear, I have, this is a full poncho, I believe from the 70s. This is like one of the rubber boat looking ones, but it works perfectly well. It also has the grommets on the bottom, so it can be used as a tarp. So it turns out to be like a 4 by, or a 5 by 7 tarp. Alright, jump through here too. Um, 
another emergency poncho, a couple of camouflage um, dressings, um, frog lube tubes for my equipment, uh, hand warmers, mosquito wipes, because I am in Florida, we get a lot of mosquitoes out here, um, Boy Scouts of America compass as a backup for my GPS. Um, glasses case, this is holding a set of polarized sunglasses and a strap because if you're like me, you wear glasses, you don't want to lose your glasses, so that'll be the first thing I put on if I have to bug out. Got a um, nice set of binoculars. Here's binoculars. I got three two gallon Ziploc bags. I have a um, a chamois that will actually hold a lot of water and you can put it around your neck and cool yourself off if needed. Um, and instant coffee. So I drink coffee. In here for the water I have my water filter. This is a um, pure before they got taken over by Ketodyne. I have a Nalgene bottle, I believe it's 32 ounce, um, and the nesting cup, the nesting cup, you can get these stainless steel at Walmart for around $5, so that's actually really inexpensive. Um, i got a buddy that has a titanium one that does the same thing, so uh, yeah, for boiling water, I don't see why you need to spend $60 on a titanium one. Um, so let's keep going through here. I think I got one more pack on here. That'll be the miscellaneous stuff. Got paracord. Got some more uh, like deep woods off. Got a fire striker. So eyeglasses, cleaning cloth, and everything. Uh, and a lens repair kit paracord. This is a little fishing kit. Um, got a cliff bar. Got hand sanitizer spray. You can use that. They'll start fires as well. Um, again, in my EDC, I do have a lighter and on my keychain I also carry um, magnesium fire striker as well, so that's why my EDC stays with me, and I just added to this. It's like a modular setup. So again, that's what I use for my EDC and my bug out bag. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. I'll answer them as soon as I can. Um, again, you know, for us big guys, um, this is a good good vest. So, you know, it might not fit in this default configuration, but just loosen up. You'll see on the back where the mollies go in and out. Just loosen those up right here. And it'll slide in and out. So, you should be able to get it to your size. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a message on the video and I'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching Big Boys Bushcraft. Have a great day.